That's oh, wait a minute. We do have sound. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yes, we actually have sound this time. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. But uh, everybody seemed to be okay with the actual voiceover thing. And I think I'm going to do that a little bit more once in a while when I'm uh, speeding things up and doing uh, kind of a, a time lapse deal. All right. So this has actually been sitting for gosh, uh, a couple days now. So we're going to bust this thing off the clamps and, uh, and kind of see what we got. It appears so far that the, um, the seams seem really good. Actually, I'm going to get this paper out of here first. Thank you. So, uh, now, something I probably, I can't remember, but I probably didn't say, uh, based on uh, some comments that I got in emails, that I didn't say because of the voiceover thing, I think I forgot to tell you, that I did put uh, the packing tape on these calls, so theoretically they should bust loose pretty easy, just like that. So they are, they are covered with packing tape. Yep, it popped right off. That's what I was hoping for. I'm gonna come around the right side of the bench. I couldn't move it, spin the sign, but I don't see any sense in that. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. They just pop, boy, use that packing tape. That's nice stuff. You can use wax paper as well. I know some guys like the wax paper thing. I like the packing tape. Um, it works well for me. And um, actually putting those on there, I don't know how well you can see this, but that's a really, really, actually, really good seam. clean those clamps up here in a bit. I'm glad I didn't drop that. <laughs> that was close. All right, so that's the, the front side. That's the back side. So I think what I'm going to do is move all this stuff, get my pad back up on here, and we're going to sand this thing down. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I've got this thing all off the clamps, got my bench uh, cleaned off with my pad on there. I'm going to use my regular 40 grit and uh, sand with the grain. This is still the face uh, and I'm going to sand a little bit here. You can see where the, the glue kind of puddled up a little bit underneath the calls and underneath that bar clamp. Um, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to just sand a little bit here so you can get an idea of what I do. So that gives you kind of an idea. What I do have to do is take down those big chunks where those big chunks are. And I've got a little bit of a, a mismatch here. Not very much. Actually, I'm really happy with this seam. It all looks really, really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue on off camera so you guys I don't have to waste your time. But I'm basically going to rough sand this um, and get these, uh, these little uh, seams a little bit better and take off those chunks and get this sanded down a little bit more. I'll do that on the front and the back and then we'll be back and move on to the next step. All right, so I did my 40 grit sand. I got it down pretty good. Everything's pretty even now. Now I'm gonna go back with my 175 and just kind of smooth things down. So I'm gonna show a little bit of that. But uh, it's pretty, all my seams are pretty even now. All the glue is, uh, the excess glue is pretty much off. But now I wanna go back and, uh, and do a, a, a better, finer sand.
Okay, that's what I want. That's got a nice, a nice smooth surface. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. I'm gonna flip it around, do the other side, then I'm gonna do the back off camera, and then we'll be back. Take the next step. That wasn't a all right guys, so I got this thing pretty much sanded down. Now of course after the carving is done, it will be, we'll be sanding it again and even finer. But the reason I wanted to sand this down and get it down to pretty much where I want it is because now, normally I don't do this. This is something brand new. I'm gonna fill all of these cracks and all of these knots. You'll notice this one especially, big gaps in there. But I've been, uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I want to fill these gaps uh, with resin. So what we've got to do now is just kind of get that prepped. So I've got actually this hooked up to my compressor outside, and I'm going to pull off these holes really good and try to get all of that solid. I need a little bit more air pressure than what my little reversed vacuum will do. So we've got several different I made these, I picked these boards out specifically because I really liked some stuff that was in there and I wanted a chance to, uh, um, to fill them with resin. So I'm going to use the same resin actually that I've used on the last few sums. Looks like, now what I'm going to do, as far as prep goes, I'm just going to, Got an air leak. Hold I on. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. yeah. Just an air leak on the air hose. I'm going to fill these or I'm going to tape these up on the back side just to absolutely make sure that we don't have any. Because some of them may go all the way through, but some of them might not. But I want to make sure that I get them nice and sealed on the back side. So that one definitely goes through. And uh, I just want to make sure that they don't go through, that it kind of seals that thing up. And probably on this one and maybe this one on the end here, we'll probably have to do multiple pours. I'm just going to have to wait and see. But um, what I've been reading, actually watching some videos, actually I'm probably going to pour some of those uh, some of those little checks and cracks too. I've got one here, not really a crack because it doesn't go all the way through. It's just a check, but I'll probably have extra. Um, that I'll probably do that as well, but that doesn't go through to the front So I'm not gonna even mess with that right now. Neither one of those go They're just surface checks So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out the resin Do some mixing here. I'm gonna do that a little bit different as well So uh, stick with us guys. We'll be back in a few minutes All right, so we are using our the same uh, Envirotex light that we've used on the flag sign and uh, the Christmas sign. So I've still got some of this stuff. I may go to a different product at some point, but for now I'm gonna use this stuff, but we're gonna weigh it a little bit different or we're gonna actually measure a little bit different. I've still got my little cups. And uh, so I'm gonna actually use a scale. This I think is a little bit more accurate. So I've got this set, it'll go for pounds or grams. So I've got it set for grams. That tells me I've got 20 grams there and I've got 20 grams there. So now I know I've got uh, an accurate measurement. This is just actually, this is our scale that we use to weigh our packages when we send packages out. So we are gonna pour both of these into a cup. Uh oh, those bottles are in the way, huh? Sorry. Just like we did, and the directions say to pour them together and then stir them for a full two minutes. I'm trying to get every little tiny bit out of there. And once we start mixing them together, then the reaction will start happening, but we'll pour these all in there and uh, stir them for two minutes, then we'll put them into a different, pour it all into a different container and stir, stir for another two minutes. Okay, start the clock. Here we go. Cut, yes, cut now, yes. Okay, so this is my second stir. We, we stirred for two minutes in this cup, then we, we put everything over in this cup, and we are uh, we're just winding down. 
So you can see how that has kind of a milky look to it. That's because it's full of bubbles. And that's just the way it looks when you, when you mix it up. So here's what we're going to do. Now these, um, I'm not actually sure, but it very well could be that we'll make multiple pours here. And again, uh, you know, I guess you're learning along with me, or maybe, you know, I'm not, uh, this is first time I have really done this on, uh, on knots. I poured, uh, I'm all over the place. You huh? are. Sorry. It's the first time I've really done this on, on knots. So I'm not sure whether, uh, exactly how it's going to all work out, but you guys are going to ride along with us. <laughs> we'll see. So what I have seen as far as YouTube, in fact, I was watching Matt Cremona this morning on a video, and uh, I think he, he had to make multiple pours on some of this stuff, especially the big ones that go all the way through. Oh, like that one's already soaked down. Yeah, so yeah, I need to... So what we're going to do is we're going to do a single pour. We're going to see how it comes out. I'm going to let it sit for a little while, and uh, then... Uh, I normally, the way I did my other pours, I let it set for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then I came back with a heat gun and uh, got rid of the bubbles. Hey, Coco. So the dog's trying to come in there. She's just observing. Wait, I'm going to show her. Keep filling. I'm, I'm go. filling. Coco, Coco I'm... Bean. <gasps> Hi, Coco. I'm filming and... Hi, Coco Bean. Vicky pretty cool. Is. You're a pretty girl. What are you doing? Hey, Coco. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Coco. Move your hand. Move your hand. Can't touch you, Coco. Sorry, babe. You don't want me to do that now. You smell like a dirty, wet dog. Yes, you do. It's a beautiful day in Arizona today. Must be about 75 degrees outside. Sorry for all you. Can you push some of that through? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is. So now I did a test on uh, on a piece earlier where there was a big hole all the way through. I taped off the back side, and uh, I left it, and uh, that definitely was a fail because it uh, there was no way to get all the bubbles out. So I think that's one of the reasons that deep uh deep crevasses <laughs> or crevices good word see i i i think i it got that from sounded french yeah no i think i got that from uh cliffhanger with uh, sylvester stallone i don't know <laughs> one of my favorite movies anyway uh so when you got a really deep one um you really need to do it in multiple pores from what i hear see now that one that just kind of dropped right down so that's but we've, we've still got plenty in here. So what theoretically what's going to happen is once this stuff all soaks in and I'll probably come back and uh, do another pour tomorrow. I'm going to let this stuff set overnight, do another pour tomorrow. You're going to come back and blow the bubbles out of it? Yeah, I'm going to come back. Before that, I'm going to come back uh, in about 15 minutes. I let this stuff set, come back with a heat gun and uh, get rid of as many of these bubbles as I can. So, um, oh, one thing I wanted to say, too, actually, before I even started all this, you know, guys, when you're doing stuff like this, as in when I glue these boards together, preparation is everything. It really is. I mean, execution is, is key, too, but preparation is so important in this. Make sure that you kind of, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's as far as having everything set up. You do not want to be uh, doing this stuff on the fly as you've got you know this stuff starting to set up i've got a long time to work with this stuff so there's nothing bad here i'm, I'm dripping all over the place i think that was just I from my from stick. stick yeah, yeah. from my stick um but it appears i made it you know plenty here this looks like it's kind of going down again i'm not are you kind of on the I'm whole just, board yeah looking yeah. at the whole thing yeah so oops that looks like it could use a little bit more there in there. That one down there looks like it's going down too. Right Where? Down there at the this end. This one? Yeah. 
Looks like it's done. I'm to, kind of looking at it at an angle, so I'm... Like it's kind of depressing mm -hmm. and... Shh, not depressing as in <laughs> depressing, just it's Dep flowing. It's depressing. Yeah, it's flowing. <laughs> if this doesn't come out, that'll be depressing. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one's really sucking it up there. But I think that's... A, that's I think, also spreading, so... Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do, honestly. I'm going to um, I'm gonna let that set for about 15 minutes, guys, then I'll come back with a heat gun, and we'll see if we can get rid of those bubbles. Now you can start. Okay, thank you. I, I can start now? You can start now. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to get rid of those bubbles, hopefully. I just got a little Drill Master uh, heat gun. I think this was like 10 or 15 bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. And yeah, and the low position doesn't work anymore. <laughs> By the way, hopefully you guys can hear me. You can't do this too much or you'll cook that stuff. You don't have to yell, we can hear you. What? You don't have to yell, we can hear you. Well, maybe they can't hear me. <laughs> anyway, you don't, uh, <laughs> you don't, you don't want to uh, get it too hot because you could cook that stuff. But see how that's going down in uh, and it's kind of soaking in and there's one over here. That, so my second pour that I do tomorrow will take care of that, hopefully. Come on. Okay, now what I do is, um, I'm, I'm just going to leave it right there. What I do after I pour this stuff, what I found in my, my heavy pours that I did on uh, those last two signs, that flag and then our, our Christmas sign, what I found is I'm going to come out every 15, 20 minutes and check to see if more bubbles have, um, have occurred, which normally they did, but very few. Now, this obviously isn't near as uh, important as when... This whole thing is going to be poured. Do you more bubbles there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they will. So I'll check it in about 10 or 15 minutes because it'll take a while for this stuff to cure. But again, that's not near as critical when you're doing uh, fills like this. But when you're doing a full sign pour, which is what I'll be doing later on on this sign, then it's more critical because you really want to get every bubble out that you possibly can. Okay, guys. So it is now the next morning. This stuff is all set up. And I just want to do a, a one more pour on here. Hopefully that's all it will take. And we'll, uh, we'll fill up the, the rest. I'm sorry. You have the hiccups? Sorry. You couldn't warn me beforehand? Just How professional going. is that? <laughs> Vicky has the hiccups. What is that all about? Gosh darn. There goes our okay, whole professionalism. Starting. All right. So we're, gonna, we're just going to pour a little bit in here. Really doesn't need that much. You can see, uh, well, before I started putting this on, that it all dried pretty clear. I came out two or three times. That one actually is pretty good. I don't think that really needs hardly any, but we'll see. That one is, that one's good. This is the one that needs the most. Anyway, it dried pretty clear. I came out two or three times after we stopped filming yesterday to um, to go over it with a heat gun and you guys saw that the heat gun works really really well I really like the heat gun a lot better than the torch <laughs> and we'll see if that kind of drizzles down in there but anyway guys so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, you know, it basically it's kind of redundant. You guys saw what I did uh, on the last scene where I went back and after a few minutes and heated this stuff up. So that's it for here. I'm going to keep doing this. So um, as I'm doing this, I'll kind of close this thing out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys, this was valuable for you.
Please, if you haven't subscribed, we ask that you uh, subscribe, share our videos, and uh, and obviously give us a thumbs up if you would. We can, we really would appreciate that. If you have any questions at all on this or anything else, please email me directly, Eric at MakeAWoodSign.com. Hope everybody uh, has a great week, and we will see you on Wednesday. We'll be uh, doing more preparation on this board, finishing this board up, cutting the, the shape, and uh, moving on to the edge and, and then beyond. So everybody, have a great week, and we'll see you on Wednesday.